guys. This is uh, my bow setup I've been hunting with for about, I think this is going to be the fifth season with this bow. It's a Obsession Defcon 6 and I've been shooting it, I shoot it very well. I mean, it's one of the most comfortable bows I've ever shot and uh, just haven't, ready to, haven't been ready to upgrade yet. I really like the bow. Um, shoots shoots very well, very quiet, and uh, I'm shooting the I'm shooting a QAD Ultra Rest, and I'm shooting a Sword Five Pin. So the Sword Five Pin is, I mean. There's tons of great sights out there. I'll be honest with you, I picked that one because it matched my bow. That's one of the, one of the reasons I did. And uh, that's kind of the same with the um, with the tree limb quiver. It matched the bow, but and it's very easy to snap on and off, kind of like the Matthews quivers. And uh, I'm just shooting a bee stinger. A bee stinger um, stabilizer with a uh, with three of the adjustable weights on the front. I've just I've played with the weights a little bit, but that really just feels comfortable to me the way it came. And uh, shooting a Easton Speed Fletch. It's the uh, the Easton Speed Fletch, the three inch been shooting them for about three years now they fly really well the nocturnal i got some blue ones and some green ones and i personally like the green best for uh for seeing them on on video like in a hunting situation the blue ones they show up the blue ones show up really good right at dark but when, when it's kind of daylight they don't show up as good as the green and uh it is a it's a 70 pound 70 pound bow it's 30 and a half 30 and a half well 30 inch draw with a half inch d loop and uh it shoots around shooting around 317 feet a second with a with a 400 I think it's 487 grains when we weighed these arrows. Ready? This is a Slick Trick 4 blade. I shot last year. Flies very well. Flies just like a field point. That one there's actually got a little deer hair and a little dirt still on it from last year. But I'm going to shoot these again this year. These are, I mean... Ain't broke, don't fix it. So I'm gonna try them again one more year. They've been pretty durable, which I mean, I haven't really, I haven't put one through a front shoulder or shot a pig with one yet. So if we shoot a pig or shoot one through the through a shoulder, then we'll know how durable they are. But as far as just the, the cut size and leaving a good blood trail, I mean, me and TJ found one last year in a rainstorm it was bleeding so good so I'm I'm impressed with the slick tricks. Alright guys by the way we're not sponsored by any of these products so if you'd like to sponsor us <laughs> hit us up. If it's a product we like and we actually trust and we'll use we'll put it on the show. But uh other than that we shoot all this just because it's our personal preference. All right, guys, that's going to be my bow setup for this year and uh, from the years past, too. But it's what I'm going to be shooting this year. So hopefully October 1st, we're going to put it to work. Y'all stay tuned.